map reveals how Europe is bubbling over with seismic activity and earthquake risks a huge 6.8 magnitude earthquake tore through the Greek holiday isle of Zand, ripping up roads and buildings filled. Volcanoes and earthquakes wreaking havoc across the continent, as best seen by the remains of those cooked alive in the lava of Italy's Mount Vesuvius. But some regions men are considered among some of the best holiday destinations in the world, are at much greater risk of deadly events linked to seismic activity. British Geological Survey seismologist Margarita Segar told The Sun Online, Greece and Italy have the largest seismic hazard, as we say, which means that earthquakes are more frequent there. However, we have cases of big earthquakes in other countries in historical times, such as Spain. The reason why Greece and Italy are the most seismic areas in Europe is they are areas where seismic plates are forming. The African plate is sedacting, going under, and the European plate we say it's moving about 3 centimeters a year. Middle and southern Mediterranean is a very active zone, so it has produced many earthquakes in historical times and in the present. Large-scale earthquakes will continue to go ahead in Italy and Greece, but not only big earthquakes are associated with big risk. She cited last year's 5.7 magnitude earthquake which struck central Italy as one example of a moderate tremor that can cause carnage. This hit on the 18th of January a few kilometers northwest of the town of El Aquila, killing 34 people and laying waste to several ancient towns. Risk comes even from moderate earthquakes. They tend to happen every five years in these countries. They are more frequent than large ones. A report presented at the Geological Society of America argued that five periods of intense seismic activity throughout history have followed periods of when the Earth's rotation slowed. However, Segar did not believe the frequency of the tremors hitting Europe was increasing. Eastern Central Italy is moving to the knee relative to Rome. As a result, this region experiences normal faulting earthquakes as the land is torn apart. The fault systems are short and structurally complex. So the earthquakes are not overly large by global standards. But because the earthquakes are shallow and structurally complex, and because many of the local towns and cities contain vulnerable buildings, strong shaking from these earthquakes has the potential to inflict major damage and loss of life in urban areas. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.